Imagine a world where the seeds of modern computing were sown in the 1800s, where a woman's curiosity and intellect shaped the future of technology. Welcome to the incredible story of Augusta Ada Byron, better known as Ada Lovelace, the unsung heroine of computer programming. Our story begins on December 10, 1815, in a time of corsets and carriages, where Ada Lovelace, the daughter of the famed poet Lord Byron and Lady Anne Isabella Milbank, entered the world. She never had a close relationship with her father. He left England shortly after her birth, and they never saw each other again. Lord Byron passed away in Greece when Ada was eight. Her mother, concerned about her upbringing, actively encouraged Ada's fascination with mathematics and logic, to safeguard her from inheriting what her father was believed to struggle with, mentally. From an early age, Lovelace faced frequent illnesses, with headaches affecting her vision at the tender age of eight. During June 1829, she suffered paralysis due to measles, leading to nearly a year of bed rest, potentially prolonging her period of incapacity. Even with her health struggles, she kept learning and getting better at math and technology. She was educated privately by tutors, and then self-educated, but was helped in her advanced studies by mathematician logician Augustus de Morgan, the first professor of mathematics at the University of London. In a letter to Lady Byron, de Morgan suggested that Ada's skill in mathematics might lead her to become, an original mathematical investigator, perhaps of first-rate eminence. Around the age of 17, Ada met Charles Babbage, a mathematician, an inventor and also known as the father of the computer, through their mutual friend and her private tutor, author Mary Somerville. The pair became friends, and the much older Babbage served as a mentor to Lovelace. Babbage was making a new machine, the analytical engine, for tougher calculations. Lovelace became interested in Babbage's machines as early as 1833, and, most notably, in 1843 Ada helped translate a cool article about it. She added her own ideas, making her notes way longer than the original article. Ada's clever mind imagined beyond just a calculator. She saw the potential for this machine to do more than just compute numbers, it could process symbols and create music. In 1843, Ada published her extensive notes on the analytical engine. In her notes, Ada explained how the machine could handle letters and numbers. Ada Lovelace organized her notes alphabetically, spanning from A to G. Within note G, she detailed an algorithm designed for the analytical engine to calculate Bernoulli numbers. This algorithm is recognized as the initial published one created explicitly for use on a computer, leading to Lovelace being frequently acknowledged as the pioneer computer programmer. Unfortunately, the engine was never finished, preventing the testing of her program. In 1835, Ada got married to William King, who later became the Earl of Lovelace. She took on the title of Countess of Lovelace. They shared a passion for horses, and had three children. He seemed to support Ada's academic pursuits, as most reports suggest. Lovelace passed away from uterine cancer in London on November 27, 1852, at the age of 36. She was buried next to her father, at her request, in the graveyard of the Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Hucknall, England. Ada's big role in computer science wasn't known until the 1950s. A person named B.V. Bowden, brought her notes back in a book called, Faster Than Thought, a Symposium on Digital Computing Machines in 1953. After that, Ada got lots of awards, even though she wasn't around. In 1980, the U.S. Department of Defense named a new computer language, Ada, in her honor. Also the second Tuesday in October has become Ada Lovelace Day, on which the contributions of women to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are honored. Though she didn't have a long life, her smarts and imagination still inspire new ideas and dreams. If you found Ada Lovelace's story as fascinating as we did, 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with fellow enthusiasts. Let's keep her legacy alive.